Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Tour Room here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. And I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, uh, with a brand new set out, we have new cards and new hey. ideas. Yay! So it should be fun. But before we get into it, we're going to remind you that we do have a Patreon. We, it takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it. And the link will be down below for that. Today, we are playing Breath of the Wild with a new green champion, Hater, Boy of the Sacred Beast. Uh, so it has the ability, Exhaust, put a card from your hand on under this card. If it was a beast unit, you may place a 1 1 or 500 counter on target unit. If it was an elemental, draw a card. So it's pretty nice. Then put two cards from underneath this card from discarded zone. Target unit you control gets plus 1000, gains overrun this turn. And overrun is a pretty nifty, pretty powerful keyword here. It says whenever you deal damage to a target unit, any excess damage goes to a tower. So you can just swing into a dude, and then once you kill it, and then it goes to a tower. Yeah, whenever you're attacking and you deal damage, you deal extra damage. Yeah, which is pretty awesome. And of course we have the Spirit of Sola, the Light Spirit, because we needed eight plus at the, the Soul Burst is pretty good too. So at the end of the turn, you may switch one of your exhaust units to active. So whenever you swing, you can make it where it doesn't die from a swing back. And then Soul Burst, put it into a Knight Unit Token Guardian, that's a 2000, which is like a white tower. And it's it's good. It's just oh, really yeah. good. Our first beast of the deck is the Bone Scavenger. He is one for one thousand. Arrive and you expel a unit from a discard zone. You can pay one, expel target unit from a discard zone, put a five hundred counter on this dude. Classic. He's super strong. We've always liked this dude just because he he's relevant at any point in the game. Yeah. And now he can gain overrun with the ruler or with the champion. So you're just like cool. This dude gets big and does not care about you anymore. Exactly. And it's a beast. So yeah. It works out. Of course, we have Call as the Best Friends Forever. It's a one drop 500. And uh, you sacrifice it, target unit you control gains immortal until end of turn. And it's like one of the strongest keywords out there, of course. And it's just good. Because if you know you're gonna hit a red tower, you just make your big dude unkillable and swing for it. Uh, next is the Ravaging Rhinoceros for one. He is a one drop 1000. This card gains overrun while his power is 2000 or more. And overrun whenever this attacking creature, whenever this attacking card deals damage to a unit, you may deal any excess damage to an opponent's tower. See, there you go. And then once per turn, you pay one and return another unit you control to its owner's hand. Put a five rank counter on this card. So you can just make this dude go really big by bouncing your own dudes and triggering all the little silly bounce effects, or yeah. just saving a dude. This is mostly going to be used to save your dude from their spells. Be like, cool, bounce that dude, which is no. awesome. That means they have to target this one first. Yeah. Pretty much every time. All right, the next one is Sansi Hydra Scorpion. It's a two drop 1000 beast. It's a dragon beast, which is weird. Uh, Root, Root, search your deck for a beast you know with total one or less and put into play. So that means that, you know, the rhinoceros or the bone scavenger or the best friend if you need it. So yeah. anything that's super powerful. Yeah. Next up is the Zonamian Ambassador. He is two for a 1000. He's an elemental. Arrive, put a 500 counter on each beast unit you control, so your little dudes get big for two mana, which is pretty strong. Pretty, pretty good. And elemental, if you want to ditch this, I don't know why you would, to draw a card. This one, Linda and Goblin, Dynamic Duo. It's a three drop, 1500. It's mostly why we have white in the deck, because we wanted to do this. Uh, so, it has Brawler. When you control a beast unit, you may play this card from their discard zone as if it was in your hand, which is extremely powerful and will constantly happen. Arrive. Put into play a cat token. It's a beast, light, and 1,000, and has cannot be targeted by spells or abilities. And the fact that this has brawler comes into play, makes a dude swing next turn, play it again, or if you have six shards, then you do it again immediately, because you have a beast, and then you go kill something else. Yeah, and each time she comes in, she makes a new cat beast. Yeah. So you're like, cool. I get lots of little goblins because she's legendary. But the cat token is not. Yeah, the cat is not. So you so, get lots of them. And the goblin. And it's a cute little name for yeah. it too. Probably one of my new favorite cards I've seen so far. It's so good. Uh, next up is the Great Hawk of Cloud Sea. It is a 3 drop 1500. It's a beast. And also you're playing green so you probably use this dude. All uh, the time. If there is a destroyed air tower you can exhaust target unit and return another target unit to his own at hand. This card gets super annoying and is super a card you have to deal with. Yep. Just because it gets to like bounce things all over. Yeah. Well, ravaging rhinoceros, you can just keep doing it every yeah. turn if you wanted to. Pretty cute. Of course, we have Woody, loyal pack leaders, four drop two thousand. It it's a beast, it has guardian and target attack. So right, put in a play a hound uh, beast token that's five hundred and has guardian, and sacrifice this card prevent the next damage that would be up to target unit this turn. 
So Purdy's super solid, so it's basically another Kalia if need be. And it's a token, and it's a beast, so it all works out. Next is the Emerald Elder Treant. He's 5 for 2,500. Arrive. Look at the top three cards of your deck. You may put a beast to unit with three, with cost three or less from among them into play with a 500 counter. Place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Yeah. So it's just a big dude that helps you get another dude. Yeah. It's super strong just to be like, here's a lot of power in play. Thanks. Especially, yeah. The next is Konga, the Sacred Forest Beast King. It's a six drop, 3,000. Legendary Elemental Beast. So, Beast and Elements units you cost play one less to play. Whenever a beast or element under your control declares an attack, you may return target unit your opponent controls to its owner's hand. That's ridiculous. That's every time. Yeah. <sighs> so Ruin, you may put a beast unit with cost three or less from your hand and or elemental unit with three or less from your discard zone into play. This, that's why he costs six and he's super good. Yeah, this dude is strong just because he gets to take away their blockers. I'm gonna swing my one drop, bounce your guardian. Yeah. Thanks. If you have like three, let's say three units on the board, this comes into play, you just swing and you basically make them replay their whole turn. Every turn. <laughs> yeah. Until they kill this thing. <laughs> so you win. This card makes you win more. Yeah, this card or does make you win pretty quickly. Just in general, make you win all the time. Uh, the first spell of the deck is the Zonamian Stampede. It is two for a spell, deal 2,000 damage to an active unit, which is an untapped dude. And if you control a beast, it deals 3,000 instead. So you're going to pay two to deal three because we have a beast all the time. Yep. The next one is Hurricane Shot. It's a classic green spell. Two drop, uh, insta cast. As an additional cost to play this card, return an air unit from the field to your hand, and then destroy target unit with cost four or less. So it just straight up marks a dude real quick. Uh, next up is a Mega Magic Kazi. It is two for a spell insta cast. If you have two or less towers remaining, this card costs zero. Target unit cannot deal damage or attack this turn. Draw a card. This card is super annoying and super strong. Yep. One of the new white cards is a Vindication of Valor. It's a two drop spell. Additional cost to play this card, you sacrifice a unit. It could be any of your tokens that you make. Destroy target unit or augment if you sacrifice a non token basic unit, draw a card, which that's not going to happen. But the fact that you can just pay to trade off a dude for, for the win. Like you swing in, they didn't block that turn or whatever, you know? Uh, next is Omega Magic Hikari. It is two white, or two in an instant cast white spell. Put into play one knight token unit with guardian and 1000. And if you have two or less towers, put in two of those dudes instead. Very powerful. Yeah, so you get two guardians for two mana, which is really, really good. And of course, this is the super filler deck because we need eight cards for white. It's uh, Caliber the Sacred Sword, the Shard Sword. It's two drop gear. Equip to target unit gets plus 1000, so it can put it on your boar and you don't have to like pump it up or anything, which is nice. Sacrifice this card, the target, the this turn is equipped, a unit cannot be targeted or spells or abilities, draw a card. So therefore, it just helps you save your dude as well. And you draw a card, so that's pretty good. With that, that is the deck there. Uh, we do have the shards, of course, and we have the spirit ruby, because you need it. it might as well. Exhaust, flip your spirit face down, destroy target unit. Good. We have the Hollow Crystal, which is the white uh, special shard, which makes a guardian have uh, get bigger, and then just the normal shards. Mm -hmm. So super solid, seems really powerful and ridiculous. Now we do have honorable mentions because new cards means new things you can swap out or whatever. Uh, Aurora, Aurelian Eurasa? Aurelian. Aurelian Eurasa. It's a four drop 2000 beast bear. So arrive. Place a 1-500 counter on this card for each element you control, so it can kind of get bigger. But, remove a 500 counter from this card, choose one, recover this card. This card gains over until end of turn, which means you can destroy a dude and the tower. So, this card can get ridiculous, I feel like. Yeah. We just need to find a way to work it out. Yeah, Little Bear is good. Oh yeah. The next one is Crushing Elemental, it's a 3 drop 1500. Sacrifice this card, destroy target, augment. Or if you do place a 500 counter on target beast you control. Just simple as that. And the next one is Zona Minion Rage. It's a one drop insta cast. Place a 500 counter on target attacking unit. And if you do put it gains over until end of turn. Which I think it's super powerful. Yeah, so a one drop being like, hey this dude gets plus 5 and I'm going to deal damage to your creature and tower is really really strong. Yeah, super awesome. With that, that is the deck list. Uh, the list will be down below. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later.
Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.